Spasterfield and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Qualcomm SIM Alphorn. Like all my SIM plugins it uses synthesizer techniques and no samples. This means that unlike samples you have uh, a wide control range over many of the parameters that control the behavior and the timbre. An Alphorn or Alpine horn or Alpenhorn is a traditional Swiss instrument originally used to communicate across the vast distances of the Alps and also as a signal for livestock to come and be fed. It's no longer used that way, but in more recent times it's become a musical instrument in its own right. The Alphorn, although it's made out of softwood, is classified as a brass instrument and this is due to the way it's played by the player vibrating their lips while blowing down the main tube. The instrument is uh, very long at around 4 metres and the uh, conical or tapered bore feeds into a large bell at the outward end of the instrument. Although the instrument can produce a very high volume, the timbre itself is more mellow than if it was made out of uh, brass or other metal. If you'd like to learn more about the Alphorn, have a look in the background folder included in the download and you'll find PDFs and links that you can follow to, to, to research this uh, fascinating instrument and its history. One of the important things to realise about the Alphorn is it has no valves or finger holes. It's purely a harmonic instrument. So it plays fundamental uh, F1, F2, F3, F4 and so on, which means that you have a limited range of notes. And if we take uh, middle C to be the fundamental, which we can tune down here, this is what it sounds like if you play the white notes ascending. <laughs> For those of us used to equal temperament tuning, those higher notes sound uh, really off, which is uh, a characteristic of a harmonic instrument. This means you have to pick your notes carefully if you want the uh, resulting music to sound, well, musical. Due to the sheer length of the Alp horn, a skilled player can actually um, produce fundamental frequencies um, up to 
f16 so giving it uh, a four octave span now due to the restriction of the harmonic series i've given the possibility here of making the alphorn uh, chromatic which of course is impossible but you can get the alphorn sound and play proper music on it so because we're using synthesizer techniques we have the opportunity to mess with the timbre of the instrument when these two controls timbre one and timbre two are set centrally then we get the the designed in sound but when we adjust timbre one we can change a balance between the odd and even harmonics and when we adjust timbre two we can change the effective brightness of the instrument by operating this macro So now I'll talk about the formants section which adds fixed frequency resonances which are meant to simulate the resonance of the, the softwood and the bell. The two frequency controls are related to the, the fundamental which is played on middle C and this is explained in more detail in the user guide. So to demonstrate this, I'll turn the amount of resonance up so you can hear the effect. Let's turn that up. One use you can make of the formants and the timbre settings is if you're uh, compiling an ensemble uh, pieces you can make all the alphorn sound slightly different to give them um, a better differentiation in the mix in a musical context uh, a skill player can control the, the volume of the instrument which also affects the timbre and I've referred to that as swell and you can select what CC number um, you want to provide that swell control or operate the knob directly uh, with the mouse. Now I suspect, and I don't know, but I suspect that when this was uh, used in a traditional context uh, to call the livestock home or to communicate across a, a wide valley that the player probably went for maximum swell, maximum volume at all times. The most skilled players would be able to change the volume and the timbre without altering the pitch, which is a, a perfect situation. And if you use this to pitch control, it's the swell to pitch. So if we set it up very very high you'll hear when the swell gets loud that the pitch will increase or you can make it decrease now these tuning values you see here probably seem quite odd or extreme but this is uh explained in the user guide um, so you're setting the the note that's actually played when you play middle C and the values you set will be determined by whether you're in harmonic or chromatic mode now point two is chromatic and you can see there that changes now here you can 
C, you've got a fine tuning, which is conventional, but you've also got this detune knob, and this is a per note detune, which is based on uh, a real instrument's tuning errors, you could say. So if I play something with zero detuning, and then I go to maximum detune in that direction, and again this is very useful if you're creating an ensemble because the amount of detune table that's added will can vary between individual instruments in the ensemble now for the environmental effect i wanted to try to simulate something that suggested uh playing in a mountain range or across valleys so that is what the alps uh, section does and i provided a separate plugin for the alps so if you're creating an ensemble you would turn this off locally and just insert the plugin for the alps to uh, feed from all the instruments in the ensemble and of course the plugin can be used for any other musical or vocal source you wish to so the alps we have four delays which i've called far these are the more distance echoes and reverberations and diffusions we can set the delay time and also uh, the pan position in the stereo field uh, we can set the amount of that um, echo and we can also simulate echoes of echoes uh, which I'll do in a moment and then in the near section we have a conventional reserve reverb so I'll just turn the amount of the far off and this is just local reverb I'll turn that down now and then I'll turn the far up And normally these reverbs would be much quieter. And I'll show you what happens when I turn that up the across. Which is very unrealistic but could be good fun at maximum. And we can set different delays, of course. So not only to have the uh, either the near or the far levels up or a mixture of both, the mix sets the mix between the total reverb and echo and the dry signal. And the width sets the width of the stereo field produced by this system. So that's an overview of the Qualcomm Sim Alphorn and as always there's lots more information in the included user guide and um, I hope you have a bit of fun messing around with this and I'm going to play you out with um, an ensemble of four instances of the Sim Alphorn feeding into one instance of the Sim Alps plug in and I apologize in advance for my lack of musical skills so until the next time bye